In the latest Photoshop update, the gradient tool has been significantly improved. There's now a live preview and new on-canvas controls so you can edit your gradients from the canvas itself. Activate the gradient tool and up here in the options bar, make sure gradient is selected and not classic gradient. Unless of course you prefer the classic old destructive gradient, in which case, get out of here. Choose the colors that you want, click linear gradient and then click and drag on the canvas. And as you're dragging, you can see the live preview and the gradient widget appears, allowing you to change the angle and length of the gradient. Isn't that beautiful? Now look at the layers panel because you've just created a brand new gradient fill layer, which is great because it's non-destructive. And here at Two Minute Design, we absolutely love non-destructive stuff. We made a whole video about it, links in the description. And it also means that you can double click on the thumbnail of the gradient fill layer for more options. Or you can open the properties panel and find more options here as well. So you can control the opacity, smoothness, scale, whatever. Back to the gradient widget. See this teeny tiny diamond shape icon? Dragging it allows you to control the position of the midpoints. Want to change a color? Simply double click on the color stop, the circle here, to open the color picker, change the color, and watch as the beautiful live preview previews your new gradient. Want to add a new color? Simply click anywhere near the gradient line to add a new color stop. Drag it along the line to change its position. Double click on it to change its color and just drag it away from the line to remove it. Keep in mind that the widget may look different depending on which gradient style you choose. Linear, radial, angle, reflected, or diamond. But it's very simple to use anyways. And it also works well on layer masks. I'm gonna add the mask to this layer and use the gradient tool to add the black to transparent the gradient to the mask. You can see the live preview and you can edit the gradient using the widget. That's it, so go ahead and use the new gradient tool in Photoshop and yeah.